series on Ramsey Visions. Thank you to all my subscribers and viewers for your love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This is a scientific principle that many of you would be familiar with. This is Newton's third law of motion and it is used in rockets. Thanks to Newton for helping us understand science further. Today, I am really excited to introduce our newest participant, Vivan, to you all. He'll be showing us how to make rocket balloons using string, straw and balloons. He will also be doing a demo after that. I'm very excited to see Vivan make the rocket balloons with you all. Show us what you've got Vivan. Hello, my name is Vivan and I am doing an experiment called rocket balloons. And I think it's going to be very fun. So let's try it. When air rushes out of a balloon, the balloon flies off. How far it flies partly depends on how much air comes out. Get ready for takeoff. It will take 15 minutes, no needed help, and it's very easy. You will need large space, two chairs, Two long balloons, two straws, a piece of string, sticky tape, paper clips, and a tape measure. Cut the string into two pieces. Each equal piece should be five meters. Thread the straw to each of the strings. Tie one end of the string to a chair and make sure it's tight. Just like this. Tie the string onto two opposite chairs, both on a different end. Blow this balloon completely, otherwise if you can't blow it, then take adult help if needed. The second balloon, blow it half, exactly half. <laughs> Make sure you tie a clip, not a knot. Stick the balloon to the straw just like this using sticky tape. When I remove this clip, the balloon is going to blast off and we'll see what one goes the furthest. Take off the clip carefully. Which balloon will travel furthest? Let's find out! Take the, off the clips carefully! The monster went the furthest! Hooray! In conclusion, the bigger balloon could travel further because it had more air in it. The air inside the balloon is under pressure by the stretched balloon. When the clips are removed, the pressure pushes the air out in one direction and balloon in the opposite, like a rocket. So boom goes the rocket balloon. Boom goes the rocket balloons. Wow, my favorite part in your video was watching the rocket balloons reach each other. I really liked your way of explaining things. Very well done, Rivan. Don't miss out on the test and tweak section, which is coming up next. After watching Vivan's video, I too tried to make a model rocket. Similar to this, there are plenty of other ways to make a model rocket. Here is the model rocket that I have made. As you can see, I have made this out of a plastic bottle for the rocket's body some card, some yellow card, for the fins of the rocket and a cone at the top. Additionally, I have decorated the rocket to look more appealing and also I put a cork at the bottom attached to a foot pump. Now I'll call to fill the bottle with water and test it out in my garden. Come, let's go to the garden. 
Now, as part of the test and tweak demo, I'm going to fill this bottle up with air using this foot pump and after some time, the rocket will fly up into the air like a real life rocket. Are you ready? I'm gonna go get it now. Now let me explain the science behind it. As you pump air into the bottle, the pressure builds up inside. Eventually, the force of air pushing on the water is enough to push the cork out of the bottle and the water, the water rushes out the bottle in one direction and the bottle pushes back in the other which results in the bottle being launched up into the sky. Now let me explain the science around us. Space rockets work in a similar way to your bottle rocket. Instead of squirting water out of one end, they burn fuel to make a jet of hot gas. The force of the gas escaping from the rocket in one direction pushes the rocket in the opposite direction. Livon referred to Miles Kelly's Super Science Experiments book and I refer to Robert Winston's Science Labs book for making our model rockets. Now I've got a good understanding of how rockets work using Newton's third law of motion. My special thanks to Vivo for putting a lot of effort in doing his model and sharing it with us all today. I appreciate your interest Vivon. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Also I'd recommend you to watch my earlier STEM videos which I will leave a link to it in the description box down below. Like Vivon, you can also participate in the STEM learning series by sending a video for me to post on this channel. Please like and subscribe to Bouncy Wizards to show your support. I'll see you all in another midweek episode. Have a good day everyone. Bye.